and that's as you talk about blocking it is you know it's one of our pillars is compressing the ground we have i think we have five pillars that we again went through the best blockers uh, we weren't very good in blocking in 21 honestly it was something that we needed to get better at so we did a full deep dive into blocking use our analytics use our coaches use the players um and, and basically went through and said okay here's what we got we have to get better at this so dove in said okay, here's the top 10 blockers in the big leagues. Let's see what they do, right? And, and that was just one of those common characteristics that every single good blocker, you never saw like the butt come up. The butt was always sinking down, compressing into the ground, moving towards the ball, creating a shorter hop, um, you know, so that was just part of what we did. Um, but again, you know, even with, you know, with the compressing, what we're seeing now is more picks, right? Um and the one guy who sticks out to me because I just watched video yesterday on, yesterday on him was Nito with the Mets. Um, you know, he goes to a traditional stance, and it's it's a ton of picks, right? So, uh, you know, it, it, I mean, it was amazing because I, 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 you know, he was number two. You know, I think I looked at baseball prospectus. He was number two in blocking. Um, and, again, like I'm always trying to learn, get better, understand what are the best doing, what are common characteristics – uh, I noticed how much he picked, um, you know, and, and one thing we do know about, especially the, the increase in picks is, like I said, increased velocity, increased spin, but also with the one knee and compressing in the chest press, it actually creates, uh, it has us gain more ground going forward with more reach, right? So now instead of, you know, potentially in a traditional where you'd kick back and have a big bounce uh, collision blocking, now guys are able to smother that. And, and, you know, Salvi Perez is one of the guys I, I admire for doing that because he has, like, this big, like, glove push that he always – because he's got those big old uh, bear paws, um, but just smothers the ball that way. And it's actually becoming a, a deterrent to base runners, right? Because it was always, you know, ball in the dirt, go ahead. Guys can't take off if the ball's in the dirt with the, with the increased picking that we have. So, it, like I said, it's changed. I, I, I'm not an, an advocate of trying to pick everything. Um you know, I, I do think that it's an effective tool. Um, but again, one thing that we talk about is we're not going to sacrifice blocking, keeping the ball close uh, to us. Because at the end of the day, right, it's it's do whatever you need to do to not allow that base runner to advance 90 feet. I mean, that, at the end of the day, that is the goal. Results oriented when it comes to blocking. I always tell the guys, I, I don't really care how it gets done. Um, but I think to your point there, which we talk about a lot is, don't give them opportunities to run. And I think that's con controlling the run game so much becomes that idea of throwing guys out. Um, the reach is massively important to me on the one knee thing. And that was something that I, mm -hmm. I just kind of, in introducing with guys, it was like I'd be doing drills where I'd be doing read and react drills. And I'd be like, all right, let's try it on a knee. And it almost was difficult from a shorter controlled setting to even get them to – block a ball because they could reach so far and then the block became so far I was going to like hit him in the face mask so I think it I think it's super important Talk